Hello and welcome to On the Prowl. I'm your host Joshua Perkins and with me today is the coach of the Hallenville Tigers, Coach Nick Saltz from Agio. On today's show, Coach will break down last week's game with the HL Bourgeois Braves. And we'll also take a look at the Press Play Productions Game of the Week schedule. And we'll take a look at Hallenville's next game against Central Lafourche, as well as the district... We're here with Coach Salt before the Hallenville Destran game, the battle on the river, and we have a few questions for Coach Salt. So, Coach, who do you think is your best defensive player so far this year? Well, we've had two kids who really kind of dominated our defensive football team with Dwayne Thomas and Chris Marshall, and uh, both of them have uh, not only are they big tacklers, they're big hitters. They understand, you know, conceptually what we're trying to do defensively. You know, funnel everything back inside, let our kids out of pursue and make plays, and um, both those guys have really had good years so far. Six foot, but I think Brandon Singleton has the height advantage on it. And Mike Neal's going to show off his arm. They throw it up to Devontae Clark, who catches it. What a catch by Devontae Clark over Jake Alamon, the man that Drew Dunn made look like a piece of spinach. <laughs> and Devontae Clark just skies over him. Devontae. Pretty, pretty even throughout the game. Ricky Preston. If he has 100 yards on the ground, I think Hallenville puts himself in a very good spot to win the game. I agree with that. Let's take a look at their highlight videos. And we'll start with Ricky Preston. And here, this is what he can do. The pitch there, he's in open field. He beats the runners to the outside and scores against Rummel, one of the best defenses in the, in the state. And there you see a little celebration there. He's very generous, very honest. He doesn't celebrate too much. And then we see here, this is what he could do in the pass game as there's a reception there. As he's running down the sideline, makes a nice move inside, a nice cut. Carries the defender for about five yards. And now they hand it off to him up the middle. This is against Salmon. And he's just a, a very strong runner. He's pretty undersized. People say he's undersized, but he's such a strong runner. It makes up for that. And then strong strength. And then here's his speed. Looks like he has about three yards per stride there. And that's against a very fast Landry Walker defense. 